Hello and welcome to this video. In this one, I'm going to be installing this M.2 SATA card SSD in this laptop. So this is uses the M.2 fitting, but it's not NVMe, it's MSATA. This is a SATA interface, the same as a, a hard drive would have. Uh, so it's a slightly slower speed than NVMe would be, but this laptop is a Stone Computers one. Uh, it's a model NT310-H, Haswell based. And in the last couple of videos that I've made, I have upgraded the processor in this from a Celeron to a Core i5. And I've also updated the BIOS and I've done videos on both of those steps. So this is sort of the third and final um, step in this process, which is just putting in this SSD. It's pretty straightforward and it should pretty much just work. So I'll uh, guide you through the process. But first what I'll do is I'll show you the startup time. Or I'll record the startup time now with the mechanical hard drive. This is basically a clean install of Windows 10 that it's got on it. So we can see just how long that takes and then I'm going to do a complete fresh install again on this. Okay so we're up to the desktop but you will actually find that it's still a bit slow like I've just opened Task Manager. I'm trying to go to performance it's not really populating very quickly. So it takes it a little bit to get going and you can see there's obviously high disk usage where all the background services of Windows are starting up. And then it settles down. So it's not awful, but obviously this is a fresh clean install. Okay, so here's a quick benchmark using Crystal Disk Mark. This is the mechanical hard drive. This is before we put the SSD in. So this is how fast it reads and writes on a standard hard drive. So let's get this thing fitted and see how we do then. Right, so with the laptop shut down, I'm going to pull the power out, flip it over. I'm going to take the battery out first, so what you want to do is push both of these clips to the unlocked position. That one is a springed one, that one moves. But put them both unlocked and then slide it out, like so. Put that to one side. And then, just before we take any covers off or anything, we're just going to make sure that everything's totally dead. So I'm just going to hold this for about 5 seconds, the power button. And just make sure everything's discharged before we touch out. Now... I'm going to take out these four screws, one, two, three, and four. Because this particular laptop has got everything but the hard drive under here. The 2.5 inch mechanical hard drive that's currently in it is under that flap there. I'm probably going to leave the hard drive in, but reformat it blank. Um, because then it can be used for storage. That's a 320 gigabyte hard drive in this one. And then we've got a 240 gigabyte SSD that we're pouring in. Okay, so with those four screws out, put them out of the way here for now. Lift this little flap here, and that'll just pop off. And then we can see the CPU and everything else that I've upgraded previously. This here, you'll notice is a slot marked M SATA and 3G. That is the slot that we want to put our SSD in. Now it's super easy to install a drive in one of these slots. All you do is literally take this screw out here, like so. That antenna should hopefully tuck underneath. And then we want to get the SSD out of the packaging, holding it by the edges. And then we just sort of tuck it in to the slot there. And then that will have a bit of a spring to it, which is good. Then you just want to hold it down, make sure that the screw hole lines up, and put the screw in. Or you could also put the screw into the drive here. And then put it down with the screw, whichever way works for you really. And then that is secured in there. Some laptops and drives they'll have two screws for in them. This drive's got the hole for two, but there's no actual mount for it. It doesn't need it because it's very secure there anyway. You can see it doesn't really bend or anything. But yeah, that, that's installed now. So, that's pretty much it for in here. Now we're just going to install this flap again. Make sure that it's the right way. Tuck these ends in at the bottom first. And then sort of push around to make sure all the clips go in. And there's four screws back in. And then the battery goes in, like so, lock that back into place, 
turn this over and then first we're going to want to enter the BIOS before we do anything to make sure that we've got the drive detected. So to get into the BIOS on these what you do is use F2 for the BIOS usually and F7 is the boot menu. So what I'm going to do is turn it on and keep pressing F2 and F7 to hopefully get into one of the menus because we can enter the BIOS off the boot menu. If you get these spinning circles just hold the power button and turn off because that started to load windows at that point. If fast boots enabled it will prevent you from getting into the BIOS on some laptops but by it failing to start up it'll do a slow normal boot gives us more chance. There we go we're actually in the BIOS that worked. So in here you can see that we've got SATA port 4 Kingston SUV 50 240 gig that's our SSD and we can go into there we can see a few details about it, maximum capacity, sectors, etc, transfer mode. There's the mechanical hard drive that's still in there as well. So we've got both drives detected now. Then we can go across and exit out of here. Just go exit and discard changes. And then I'm going to plug in my Windows 10 installed USB. Okay, so I've plugged in my USB stick here with Windows 10 on it. Okay, so now I'm going to boot into the boot menu with F7. And now we can see it's detected my USB SanDisk Ultra. I'm going to go for that. I'm doing the 64 bit Windows 10 setup. Okay, so here's the setup. We're just going to go next. Hopefully, when we get to selecting a drive, it should just pick up our new SSD in the M.2 slot. What I'm going to do as well is the mechanical hard drive in this, the old drive, I'm just going to delete and make it one big partition, just useful for storage basically. Okay, so I'm going to do a custom install. And now we can see drive zero, that's our SSD that we've put in. And there's nothing done with it at the minute, it's on allocated space. And then we've got all these other partitions, which are the old mechanical hard drive. I'm just going to delete all of these. And now we've got two blank drives, and I'm going to make a new partition on the SSD. And that's where we're going to put Windows. And then I'm just going to make a new chunk of space on here. And that's just going to be our... In fact, actually, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this unallocated. And I'll do this within Windows later. So, yeah, let's install Windows onto the SSD. And now we'll wait for this to complete. Okay, so that whole installation took, like, five minutes, which is not bad, really. Obviously, it's off a USB 3 pen drive and everything as well, but... I'm just going to run through the setup now and then I'll install Disk Mark and we'll test it again starting up and such. Okay, so here's the Crystal Disk Mark score for the SSD. Now that's put in and I've got the fresh Windows install running. As you can see across the board, it's pretty much better. Just a little bit, you know? So that's a lot faster. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go to Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions, which is Disk Management. And then I said about the hard drive here, you can see it's unallocated. I'm just going to make a new simple volume on that. And I'm just going to assign it. Wait, why is it assigning it as D? Oh, huh, apparently the disk drive is E for some reason. So I'm actually going to change the disk drive to D. And then I'm going to put a new simple volume here. Next, next, E, yep. And then I'm just going to call it storage, quick format, finish. So that now gives us the Windows drive, the SSD. Here, so I'm going to call that Windows SSD. Then we've got the disk drive and then storage hard drive. So we've got the 2.5 inch drive and the MSATA SSD both working together. Let's try shutting this down and starting it up again. I can tell you it shuts down a lot quicker. And here's the start up. That was massively faster. And there we go. It's in. So that is night and day difference. You can see I've actually even got Firefox and that installed on here. Like I didn't even have Crystal Disk on it on the previous install. So there you go, that's the uh, MSATA SSD installation on this stone laptop. 
It should be the same on pretty much all laptops, to be honest, across the board. But if you found this video helpful or interesting, please leave a like down below. Any questions or feedback, put them in the comments section. And get subscribed to my channel for future random technological videos like this one. Thanks for watching.